Sanderson got a rough start in this world. He was injured at birth. The doctor pulled me out by my right arm because I had broad shoulders. I almost got stuck. He pulled me out by my right arm and disconnected nerves from my spinal cord. He's number 22 here. Few people with this type of injury known as Herb's palsy have managed a successful athletic career. But Landis may be twice as good as most of the high school athletes he faces. He gets an average of 19 points a game for his Florida High Seminoles basketball team. If he gets the ball in his hands, you're not going to stop him one-on-one. -on -one. He is just so quick and so long. I think he probably is the best in my ass because he not, not only can he score, but he also is a defensive presence. Anderson says his mom taught him to be strong-minded. A lot of the games, uh, basketball games, I hear people in the stands saying, he can't do nothing, stop him. He got but one arm or something like that, but doesn't bother me. She taught me not to let it bother me. Landis learned at an early age not to let his disability stop him. I hate that word. I don't see myself as disabled. Mm, just as good as anyone else in my eyes, and I strive to be better. Besides being a great athlete, Anderson is almost a straight A student. I challenge Landis all the time. If the cameras are no longer rolling and you don't have a basketball in your hand, then who are you? So his academics definitely, definitely um, is a must. Anderson credits his parents for inspiring him to excel. Put a basketball in his hands when he was like three years old. And he's always loved basketball. And he said, Dad, you know, I want to be a NBA player. I said, son, you can do it. His mom choked up reflecting on her son. Once we realized what we had, once we realized um, the inspiration that he was, I'm sorry, I apologize, I apologize. Um, um, once, we, once we realized um, what we were working with and the drive and the determination that he had, we never stopped. He's surrounded by positive people at all times. Anderson's parents hope he will get a college scholarship. His coach says Anderson is his best player and his hardest worker. That's why he's so successful. A lot of people say I inspire them. I get messages on Facebook saying like when they saw a video someone else did on me that it inspired them to go out and work harder. Marina Hutchinson, The Associated Press. Oh!